Once your operatory is properly set up and all equipment is prepared, you are ready to see your patient. After doing your extra intraoral exam in a seated operatory, ask your patient to remove glasses, jewelry, dentures, piercings, hair clips, hearing aids, and any other metal objects and place them in a cup. Bring your patient to the operatory and place their belongings on the counter. Place the lead apron on the patient with opening in the front since most radiation comes from behind. Reset the unit. Ask the patient to stand facing the mirror on the unit. Use up and down arrows to raise or lower the unit so that the rotating unit is approximately one inch higher than the patient's shoulders. With clean patient gloves, place the bite block on the bite block stick. The patient will step into the unit and grab the handles. Ask the patient to stretch their neck while placing their chin on the chin rest and gently bite into the grooves in the bite block. Have your patient pull their shoulders back and their chest out. Place your foot below the lower end of the handles and ask your patient to step forward until they touch your foot. They will feel slightly out of balance. They will feel hanging, as it will force them to stretch their neck. Press the light keys to illuminate the patient positioning lights. They will be lit for two minutes. They also automatically turn on when you use the up-down keys. Look at the mid-sagittal light and position the patient so that it coincides with the mid-sagittal plane of the patient. Use filtrum as your marker, not middle of the nose, and make sure that the patient's head is not tilted to one side. Next, align the Frankfurt plane. For standard, segmented, or pediatric exposures, make sure that the Frankfurt plane is parallel, parallel to the horizontal light. For bite wing exposure, Make sure that the occlusal plane is parallel with the horizontal light. Use the up-down arrows in very small increments to adjust the patient's head for this horizontal alignment. Now adjust the focal trough. Ask the patient to open their lips only and using the focal trough knob position the patient so that the focal trough light is in the center of the upper canine. If the focal trough is off the canine, use the up-down arrows to reposition the patient so that it is in the center of the maxillary canine. Close the temple supports by sliding the temple support knob to the right. Make sure that the patient's neck is stretched and straight. Adjust the position of the nasion support up or down and carefully push the forehead support until it touches the patient's nasion. Ask the patient to close their lips, swallow, and hold the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Have the patient to look straight ahead and remain sti still and breathe normally for the duration of the exposure, or about 10 seconds. Make sure that the unit status indicator is green, meaning it is ready for exposure. Stand behind the lead-lined wall and observe your patient through the leaded glass window. Give the exposure warning. Clear. clear. Taking a pan and allow others to clear the area. Press the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. You will hear the exposure warning signal and a light above the exposure button will illuminate. 
When the signal stops and rotation ends, the x-ray has been taken. Immediately return to the operatory, release the button on the top of the forehead support, and move it away. Then release temple supports by sliding the knob to the left. Guide your patient out of the unit. Remove the lead apron and return your patient's belongings. On the computer screen, you will see a progress bar indicating transfer of the image to the computer. Once the image displays, evaluate it with your instructor. Once the image is approved and you have returned any personal belongings, you may dismiss your patient. If the image is acceptable, it will be saved automatically. Next, go to File in the upper left corner on the laptop and select Quit. When a backup window displays, select Quit again. At the end of the session, shut down your computer and store it in the cabinet below the counter. Do not press the return key to reposition the unit after the exposure. This step will be done when resetting for the next patient. Follow cleaning and disinfection steps as well as barrier removal as in the setup process. Remove the bite block only leaving the bite stick on the chin rest. Do not place bite block in the ultrasonic cleaner. Simply rinse it, dry it, and place in a sterilization bag for autoclaving. When finished, brace the upper shelf along with the rotating unit up and turn off the unit.